السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی کنزا ہما مجید فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس چیف آف آرمی اسٹاف ہیز لیفٹ فار افغانستان ٹو میٹ افغان پریزیڈنٹ ان کابل سیکنڈ فیز آف الیکٹورل پروسیس اسٹارٹیڈ ٹوڈے وتھ اسکروٹنی آف نامینیشن پیپرس آف کینڈیڈیٹس Accountability Court, Islamabad has adjourned hearing of Evan Field reference against former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and his family till Thursday. US President and North Korean leader signed an agreement in historic summit in Singapore today. And now the news in detail. Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa has left for Kabul to meet Afghan President Ashraf Ghani. In a tweet, Director General of ISPR, Major General Asif Hafoor said Pakistan wishes to see national unity government and the U.S. succeeding to bring peace in Afghanistan. Second phase of electoral process started across the country today with nomination papers being scrutinized with the help of various institu- institutions. According to e- ECP, data of more than what? 12,000 candidates was sent to NAB, FBR and State Bank for verification and scrutiny while over 7,500 nomination papers have so far been verified with the help of online data scrutiny system. As per the election schedule, the scrutiny process will conclude on Tuesday next. Appeals against rejection or acceptance of nomination papers can be filed by 22nd of this month. The appellate tribunals will decide the appeals by 27th, after which the revised list of candidates will be published on 28th of this month. 11 members of Balochistan caretaker government cabinet will take oath at Governor House in Quetta today. Governor Balochistan Mohammad Khan Achakzai will administer the oath of office to the cabinet members. Accountability Court Islamabad has adjourned hearing of Evan Field reference against former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and his family members till Thursday. Former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif appeared before the court. The hearing of Azizia Steel Mills and flagship investment references have been adjourned till 19th of this month. The NAB references are being heard by Accountability Court Judge Mohammad Bashir. Sikh yatris who arrived from India on pilgrimage to Gurdwara Panja Sahib Hasan Abdal have returned to Gurdwara Janam Asthan Nankana Sahib after performing rituals for three days. Indian Sikh pilgrims are on 10 days pilgrimage to Pakistan in connection with 412th death anniversary of Guru Arjan Dev Ji. In occupied Kashmir, two Indian policemen were killed and another was injured in an attack in Pulwama town today. According to reports, some unidentified gunmen fired at a police guard post, killing two policemen and injuring another one. In another attack, 10 Indian troops were injured in a grenade blast in Janglat Mandi area of Islamabad town. Meanwhile, an Indian soldier identified as Gunner Ranjot Singh committed suicide by shooting himself with his service rifle in Poonch area of Jammu region today. This incident of suicide raised the number of such deaths among the Indian troops and police personnel in the territory to 403 since January 2007. U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed an agreement at a ceremony after their meeting at Singapore today. Trump described the document very important, pretty, and comprehensive. He said both Kim and he were honored to sign. The U.S. president said he has developed a very special bond with Mr. Kim. Kim called the joint statement as historic and that the world will see an important change. Talking to newsmen after signing the agreement, President Trump said Kim is a talented man who loves his country very much. He said we will meet many times. China has welcomed U.S.-North Korea talks and expressed hope that the United States and North Korea can reach an agreement on a peace deal. Talking to newsmen in Beijing, Chinese State Councillor Wang Yi said the top leaders of two countries can dispel interference, establish mutual trust and overcome difficulties. They can reach a basic consensus on promoting and achieving the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. And that is the end of the news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.